Hi everyone. So um, next uh, generation sequencing is a modern advanced uh, technology that has become a very important research tool. So as usual in our presentations, we will be mostly focused on technical issues or technical problems that uh, have data scientists uh, when analyzing uh, different kinds of data. So uh, this topic, uh, uh, the topic of this talk is how NGS data can be loaded or uh, pre-processed for Transmart. So uh, on this scheme, um, as you uh, already know, so Transmart community uh, already introduced uh, Galaxy int integration plugin. So you can extract data from Transmart and uh, transfer it to Galaxy, and you can analyze data in the Galaxy. So um, our uh, concern was what about uh, the other side of the scheme? Uh, so how get NGS data into Transmart? So we just wanted to explore uh, this uh, link. So the question is, can we have a Transmart friendly NGS uh, data pipeline? So this is very, uh, <laughs> ideal <laughs> uh, way uh, how to process data for Transmart. So we will be focused on loading RNA-seq data and uh, we will uh, take some aspects of loading VCF uh, data. So a little bit technology. So a uh, number of studies with NGS data or RNA-seq data in particular has recently uh, increased dramatically. So the purpose of both approaches, microarrays versus RNA-seq, is to uh, identify which genes were significantly up or down regulated. So for RNA-seq, RNA is converted to cDNA, packaged into libraries, and then millions of short reads uh, obtained uh, by NGS. So there are advantages of RNA-seq over microarrays so the transcripts can be analyzed, uh, to be analyzed, are not pre-selected, and the sequencing uh, determines all the RNA species uh, that are present in the sample. So it measures transcript abundance, uh, at identifying transcripts to improve uh, annotation of genes. So it can also do de novo transcript assembly. So how we load data in Transmart. So for gene expression profiling, so what we have experience with, it's we can use ICE loader, for example, and TMETL loader. They both have capability to load RNA-seq data uh, by meaning quant uh, quantification of RNA uh, transcripts. But uh, processing and normalization should be done outside of Transmart. So what we load in Transmart is uh, normalized counts, FPKM data, uh, uh, and this kind of data. And variant call format or VCF files. So we have TMET loader that can be used to load this kind of uh, data in Transmart. So again, a while ago in 2014, Transmart Foundation announced a release of uh, Transmart version 1.2 1, 1 and uh, uh, they integrated uh, the Alliance Genomic Browser with Transmart. So here is the screenshot of this uh, Genomic Browser and it allows to visualize genomic data, compare genomic data between patient cohorts, uh, compare different types of uh, genomic information, which is very nice. And uh, little bit uh, what is VCF uh, format. So what kind of VCF file format is required for Transmart? So if we look at this uh, link below, so it's Sam's Tools GitHub, so we can find a specification for variant call format version uh, 4.2. So and on the top uh, we can see meta info lines and in, in the middle we have a header line uh, so there are, there are different uh, several columns over there and the data lines uh, which contain information about the position uh, in the genome and genotype information so 
we have noticed that different NGS pipelines create VCF files with formats that deviate from canonical. Uh, I call it canonical. Therefore, VCF files become not loadable or readable uh, in the gen genome browser. So we have also noticed that there are several commits of TMT loaders and uh, if you pick right version in GitHub, you will be successful to load VCF data. And if not, you need to try more versions of uh, TMETL. Um, so there are also different versions of genome browser, Dalian's genome browser itself. So we need to keep all these factors in mind that, that may, we may have problems. And um, there is an example. For example, uh, one uh, uh, users use Plink uh, workflow to generate VCF file from map and pad files. <coughs> and uh, output file, uh, as you can notice on the, uh, on the left, yeah, uh, uh, columns ref and alt has different notation from the again canonical notation, which you can see on the uh, right hand side. So this would prevent of showing indels in the Darien's uh, genome browser. So, uh, so indels are shown uh, as the letters of I, uh, like deletions, I, insertions. Uh, D, etc. So, uh, so we have also found that if first column, which uh, shows number of chromosomal number, uh, there should be only numeric values in the first column, <coughs> and three first columns together, like chromosomal position, uh, variant ID, and uh, uh, position in the chromosome should be identical. So these uh, three uh, items should not contain duplicates. And uh, that meta information is optional for loading, although it's important for uh, VCF file itself. So, and here is an example how uh, two different versions of Dalian's uh, genomic browser works. So there is a um, uh, there was a VCF file that was, uh, the, and, the, and the quality column was not populated, and it was okay to load this file in the uh, Biodalians uh, 0 0.13, and you can see the other information in this uh, browser, and unfortunately it was impossible to load it this way in the earlier version of Biodalians uh, genome browser. So we had to somehow populate this uh, field in order to work with this version of uh, genome browser. So we decided to create a <laughs> case study and uh, uh, to make notes what kind of uh, possible uh, questions we can ask a uh, community and uh, uh, maybe discuss uh, some um, aspects. and. Uh, so we basically decided to compare uh, gene expression and RNA sequence analysis in human Huntington disease and Nokian mice uh, brain tissues. So we decided to review and compare um, RNA expression profiling in human and mice brain tissues and uh, review genomic variants using data deposited in a GEO website. So our technical task was to load all required data in Transmart and identify any technical uh, difficulties and when loading and analyzing data. So uh, there are two data sets. Uh, they are public data sets from GEO website and um, we have publications uh, for this data. So uh, first one is uh, RNA seq expression profiling of human postmortem brain tissues for Huntington disease and neurologically normal individuals. And the second uh, data set 
uh, that belongs to CHDI. Uh, it's transcriptome profiling uh, in Nokin uh, mouse models of Huntington's disease. So we curated these two data sets and loaded into Transmart. So um, normalized RNA-seq data was already available uh, in a GEO website and we use it as it is uh, for loading. So Huntington uh, disease is a gener uh, generative disorder that caused uh, by expanded CEG trinucleotide repeat. You can see it on this FASTA file over here, uh, highlighted in yellow. Uh, so it's polyglutamine stretch in the Huntington gene. So the disease is characterized by movement disorder, cognitive and psychiatric symptoms. So unaffected individuals have fewer than 36 CAG repeats and affected ones have uh, more than that number. Uh, so co-expression network analysis revealed correlation between CAG length and the dysregulation of a number of pathways in stretching and uh, cortex uh, tissues in Nokin mice. So first we run marker selection analysis for human data set. So Huntington disease uh, subjects versus neurologically normal. And we identified uh, seven significant genes in the top 200 uh, Transmart uh, list that Transmart uh, produced. So we can easily find this uh, significant genes in the publication that is uh, provided for this data set. Um, again, uh, looking at Transmart capabilities, we then generated the gene signature for top 10 significant genes. And again, run a heat map analysis in Transmart and compare it with the uh, heat map that we have in the publication. And again, we can see that uh, these 10 uh, genes are overexpressed uh, for Huntington disease subjects and not expressed or uh, very low expression uh, for normal uh, control, which we see the same for a uh, Transmart uh, output over here. So we've, dr uh, we've done the same approach for key study with mice and we reviewed top 200 he hits and it's interesting we did not find any human uh, genes in this uh, um, mice data set so on the other hand a uh, detailed analysis of top 200 genes uh, revealed interesting findings that the number of ribosomal proteins are overexpressed in these mouse models for example rps6 uh, ribosomal protein S6 uh, was overexpressed and uh, has been classified as Huntington associated protein and plays a role in the Huntington disease pathogenesis. And here is a publication about that. So, uh, so this is uh, that we already know uh, that this analysis can be done in Transmart. So, but our goal was to ha somehow link Transmart capabilities with other uh, NGS uh, pipelines and workflows. So we selected Galaxy workflow for variant detection. And as you probably know, Galaxy is an open source uh, web-based platform for data intensive biomedical research. It's basically a coll collection of tools. You can see it uh, on, on the left side. Um, and it has pretty uh, user-friendly interface. It's easy to navigate. And uh, as we will know at the end of this presentation, the output VCF file uh, would have a Transmart uh, compatible format. So here is a, a workflow that we were able to perform. It's um, uh, loading data into Galaxy using several ways how to do it and um, it can be ftp ebi uh, sra uh, there are other possibilities so the data uh, that we load into galaxy is in fastq format so then we used a uh, fastq groomer 
um, we also run fast QC. And once you run fast QC, you can see quality of your reads. And if uh, necessary, uh, you can uh, review all the parameters that can be checked uh, over here. And if necessary, you can filter uh, the, these reads by quality. So we've done that. So the next step is mapping. So there are several ways how to do mapping and there are many al aligners that can be used. So here is a liner what the, we used in this uh, case. Then we've done sorting BAM file by chromosomal coordinate using SAM tools inside Galaxy um, uh, tools. Then uh, next uh, workflow didn't work very well for us. Let's mark remove duplicates using PCAR tools. Uh, then next uh, step was using uh, GATK uh, uh, tools. So these are very actually power uh, tools that uh, we really, really liked uh, them to use uh, inside this galaxy. So we've done indel realignment <laughs> using a realigner tar target creator, then indel realigner, and then we've done base quality recalibration uh, following the uh, next uh, several steps, uh, count covariates, analyze covariates, uh, done table recalibration, and then after that again uh, done uh, analyzing, counting and analyzing covariates. And then uh, we moved next to variant detection. So we used unified genotyper and uh, we've got a uh, VCF file. Uh, we didn't do fil filtering of variants or any other further analysis. So the workflow in the galaxy can be saved in a very nice uh, looking graphical uh, pipeline view. And actually, if you want to repeat uh, this uh, uh, workflow, you can just click and uh, it should work and process this data. So uh, GATK are uh, the improving tools to perform uh, variant calling uh, for RNA-seq data. And um, as uh, far as I checked the uh, JTK uh, uh, website, they recommend haplotype color um, to deal with variants located near splice junctions in RNA-seq data. So anyway, the capability that a free user has to use Galaxy. So we uh, have able to process a small sample of the data. And here is the uh, output uh, VCF. Um, we loaded VCF file into Transmart over here. So here is a technical summary of what we've done. So the, and what we've uh, noticed is that format of VCF files sometimes varies, vary, varies depending on NGS workflow that was used. And uh, we have identified and showed examples of several formatting issues uh, that VCF files may have and that prevent uh, them to be compatible with the genome browser. So we uh, work with, with two geo data sets, human and mice. Uh, we curated and loaded them into Transmart and demonstrated capability to do cross-species analysis and uh, identify weak places in the Transmart workflow for uh, any future improvements. So what we uh, noticed again, uh, it was we, we were not able to create a gene signature uh, for non-human genes, uh, for example, mouse gene signature. So if in fact it's possible to do it in Transmart, please let us let us know. Um, another is although it's possible to configure uh, Dalian's genome browser for mouse genome by replacing human genome reference and add mouse genome track that has human coordinates. So these operations are not very familiar to Transmart users. And if it's, again, 
easy to do that would be nice to uh, discuss how it's easy to do it so uh, like not not developers and not uh, uh, people who just uh, use transmart uh, as a researchers uh, can, can do it uh, th themselves so we ha we at attempted to use open source and gs tool uh, galaxy like collection of tools to pre-process data for transmart um, and of course more research needs to be done on variant detection for rna seq data and it would be ideal to suggest uh, and make publicly available more NGS workflow that are validated and reproducible. And here is a uh, conclusions. So at the ons onset of this case study, we wanted to see if a validated NGS data pipeline uh, can be connected to Transmart in a such way that processed NGS data can be loaded into the platform relatively easily. So we were able to connect Galaxy output to Transmart ETL manually uh, for now. And we constructed a workflow that produces desirable data, at least in desirable format. Um, so in this process, we identified uh, weak places and uh, uh, strong uh, points. So we need an intention uh, and uh, some improvement here. So Transmart was a great and expedient to show data patterns, uh, especially when looking at several studies, we can uh, easily find and uh, uh, check hypotheses uh, from publications uh, by curating and loading available data sets uh, in Transmart. So our wish list is that Transmart needs to understand our model uh, organism genomes. Uh, and Transmart needs to be engineered to connect uh, with validated pipelines as a long-term goal. So thank you very much for uh, this opportunity to have a talk today. And special acknowledgments to CHDI Foundation and uh, Rancho Biosciences colleagues. Thank you very much.